Hey guys, well, I have a alternator here. This is a CS alternator. It's a Delco, so it's GM, and it's hooked up to the test rig here. So it's hooked up to an induction motor. This is a three-quarter horse motor. So I have the motor generator set up here, and I just want to show you some of the wiring here and how to hook this up. So this one here is a CS alternator. It has a built-in regulator. So the wiring on this alternator is pretty basic. We have three wires. Now, the first wire here on the plug goes directly to the main positive output of the alternator. The second wire here also goes to positive, but it's switched. And the third wire goes to a light bulb. So the, basically, you connect one end of the light to this wire and the other end to positive. So you can see here that these two now are switched between the, the main positive or the battery positive to these two wires. So we can switch it on, switch it off. You can see here, there's on, off. So now to hook this thing to the battery, it's really simple. You have your chassis ground here, so that's your negative. So we have the, this wire here is going to go over to the battery, and then we have a positive here coming off of the main uh, bat terminal. So it's, it's really easy how this is wired. And we'll come over to this battery here. This is an old battery. Um, this positive here is connected to the positive of the battery and then the negative on the chassis of the alternator is connected to the negative on the battery. Switch the switch on you'll see the indicator light coming on. So once I start this thing then the indicator light should come off. So you, you don't have to start it with this on uh, because you can start it first and then turn this on. So it doesn't really matter. I gotta give it a little bit of a spin because the startup in this motor is not very good. Okay, so there we go, it's running. Now the alternator's not on, but to turn the alternator on, all I have to do is just flick on the switch. So now you can hear the difference between when it was off and on. So we'll check the voltage in the battery now. And you can see 14.5 volts almost. So it's, it's working just like it would be in the car. What you can do now is if you want to use this like an inverter generator, all you have to do is attach an inverter to your battery. Now, this battery here is really small. This isn't the battery you want to be using for this, uh, but as a demonstration, I'll show you. You can connect this up. Now, you shouldn't spark around batteries, uh, but I'm just doing this as an example. Uh, this battery vents over here, actually, but you shouldn't do that. But anyway, connect it up, and you can see here now, the light's on. And what I can do is I can plug in something. So I'm going to turn on the lamp now. It's hooked up to the inverter. And you can see now that you can power the light. And that's only about a 23 watt bulb. So that isn't very much. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a 100 watt incandescent bulb. And we'll turn it on. And there you go. So you can hear the load now on the alternator. I'll turn on the bulb. And you can see now the voltage drop. Connect a drill up to the inverter and see if we can power this. And so it's a weak battery. So you can see the voltage drop quite a bit. And now this thing's struggling to actually get back up to speed again here. So basically now we have ourselves a, a simple inverter generator. We're using the generator uh, connected up to the battery bank, and then we have the inverter connected up to the battery. So if you have a stronger, a larger uh, battery, uh, this would work a lot better. Off now. So you can see the light coming on, and you can switch that off now. Okay, so I want to also show you how you can hook an alternator up to capacitors and make it work. Now this one here has the built-in regulator, so I'm going to show you uh, with the same way I hooked up to the battery. So I've hooked up the alternator to a capacitor bank here. Now these are old capacitors. Nowadays they'd be replaced with super caps. And super caps would basically, you could probably get enough super caps to, to make this alternator work and it would only be about this size. Uh, these are outdated. This is all I have to work with here. If you could get super caps then this would work a lot better. The alternator is not on right now, and you can see that there's only about 400 millivolts in the capacitors. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch on the alternator and you can see that it hasn't started yet. So the only way you can really get this thing going is you need to put a little bit of a charge into the capacitors while it's working. So what I do is I have a little battery pack here at 7.2 volts and all I have to do is just connect the negative and the positive for just a split second and this should turn on. So we'll connect this up. We'll watch the... And that's all it took. So now the alternator is working with the capacitors. So I'm going to hook up this spotlight to the capacitor bank. and So there we go. We have our um, light powered up over there. And there's our voltage drop. I'm going to hook up the inverter here to the capacitor bank. So we'll connect the positive on the inverter here. And the negative. Okay, so the, now the inverter is on. See over here. Turn the light on here. So that's a 100 watt bulb. And then I'm going to connect up the spotlight. have two uh, 100 watt bulbs running now. So we have 200 watts. And I'm going to connect up that spotlight again. See? Oh, well, that's it for that. Power the drill off of the capacitors as well. Oh. So I'm going to switch off the alternator and let's see what happens. Well, that's it. And we'll switch it back on and see. And there we go. Uh, it'll come back on and off. As long as the capacitors aren't discharged, then you can turn this thing on and off. So I've disconnected the plug off the alternator, and I just want to show you a small modification that I've done. I've taken the alternator apart, and what I've done is I've just separated the regulator from the field connection. So basically the positive that would have went inside of this alternator to the positive brush is disconnected and I've ran a wire out and also I've ran a wire out from the regulator. So when you saw the alternator working before, these two wires were connected together. So that meant that it was working normally as it would in the car. So this would be our field contact basically the same as in a alternator without a built-in regulator. So now this alternator can work with the regulator or without. So I've just connected the, this wire here to the positive. You'd have a battery pack and a little push button and make sure you connect the right wire. So swipe the cap. Okay, so there she goes. 25 volts, basically. So what I'm going to do is I've hooked up the receptacle again and Try the drill. So let's see how this alternator powers the drill. Okay, so I've hooked up a variable resistor now. So what I'm going to do is I'll crank up the resistor to the maximum and I'll get the thing running. Okay, so I'll try dialing down the rheostat. Basically, have a little more control of the field voltage. It's not direct now. And we'll just see what voltage it is. It's 25 volts. So by putting the resistor in there, it actually helps. So now I've hooked up these blower fan resistors here. And basically I'm, I'm starting from this coil and going all the way around. So I'm using all the coils here. So I'm going to do a spike the cap here and get the alternator going. Let's see if we can get this running with the resistors. Okay, so there we go. So we'll check the output voltage, 25 volts, and let's turn on the drill here. With these resistors here, it, it won't uh, overload the alternator because this thing was getting pretty hot. See how hot they are with a little bit of water on them. I don't know if you saw the steam, but yeah. So we get a constant 25 volts at this RPM here. So if we increase the RPM, uh, I did get about 70 volts out of an alternator. So, and 70 volts will power uh, skill saws, drills, anything like that, anything with a universal motor.
So that was just another demonstration on the alternator setup here, and thank you for watching.